In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to configure a package to execute from the SSIS catalog and use an environment variable to provide the sensitive data. Then I'll execute the package using the SQL Server agent. This is a great way to protect sensitive information in packages once the package is ready to run in your production environment. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I'll be demonstrating now. So in the SSIS package itself, I'll be showing it to you in Visual Studio. And I have a password set up to access the SQL Server table. And it's set up in the OLEDB Connection Manager. So I'll create a parameter for it. It's called parameterizing it. And that creates a parameter that can then be used to map to an environment variable. Then I'll build the project and I'll deploy the package to the SSIS catalog. And then I'll go over to Management Studio and I'll create an environment in the catalog. And then I'll create a variable in the environment that I just created. And then I need to, as the final step, map the environment variable to the package parameter. And that's it. Here's the package that I created. I'm in Visual Studio. And it's very simple. It just has one execute SQL task that reads in two columns from the first row of a table and puts them in the variables here in this package. And then I had to create some sensitive data for the purpose of this video. So in the OLEDB Connection Manager, I set it up to use SQL Server Authentication. And I uh, set up a username and password. I don't have the password entered in here because I'm going to be using an environment variable to provide the password when I execute the package. So I'll just close this. And then the other important piece is that I need to set the um, package protection level first for the package to don't save sensitive. I opened up the properties for the package by right mouse clicking on the canvas. So right now it's set at the default, which is encrypt sensitive with user key. So I change that to don't save sensitive. Then I also do it at the project level. So I right mouse clicked on the name of the project and I go to properties. And here I will also choose, it's worded slightly differently, do not save sensitive data. And it gives me a warning that I have to set the same level for um, the packages. And I already did that. So I'll save the package. And now I need to set up a parameter for the password. So I right mouse click on the connection manager. And I select parameterize. And then I choose the property which is called password. And I leave it set to create new parameter. And I'm going to change the name to um, parm password, meaning parameter password. And the scope I'm going to leave set to package and sensitive is already checked. And now before I can deploy it. I'm going to go over to uh, Management Studio. And if this was my first time setting up a catalog, I would right mouse click on Integration Services Catalogs and then click on Create Catalog. So I already have that set up. So now I right mouse click on SSISDB and I select Create Folder and I'll give the folder the name of Demo. And now you can see it also has some other folders that it added under there. So now I'll go back to Visual Studio and I'm going to build it first. So I right mouse click on the name of the project. I click on build and there you can see the IS pack file that it created. And now I right mouse click on the project again and I click on deploy. And I'll leave it set to SSIS in SQL Server for my environment. 
And then I typed in the name of my server the first time I did this. It remembers it from back then, but you can browse to find the name of your server or type it in. And then I'll just connect using Windows authentication. And then down here, the path the first time through would have been empty. And uh, then I would browse to find the demo folder and select that. And then I'll click on Next, and it gives me a chance to review what I've set up. And then I click on Deploy. Stay tuned for how to set up your environment in the SSIS catalog so you can execute the package under the SQL Server agent. Here I am in Management Studio, and I need to create an environment now. So I right mouse clicked on Environments, and then I select Create Environment. I'll give it a name. Parameters and Catalog, which is the same as my project name. And then I expand this, and there's my environment. I'll double click on that and go to variables. So I'm going to name the variable here env password. And the type is string. So I give it a description, and it is sensitive. And now I'll type in the password here. And since I clicked on sensitive, you can't see what I typed in. If I had typed it in first, and then clicked the sensitive checkbox, you would be able to see what I typed in. And now I clicked OK. And I'll expand the projects, and then I expand the parameters and catalog project, and now I expand packages to reveal the only package in there. And I right mouse click on the package, and then I click on configure. And here is where I do the mapping of the parameterized password from the package to the environment variable that I set up with the actual password in it. And it doesn't allow me to select Use Environment Variable, so I'm going to back out of this and go to References. So I need to set up a reference to this environment that I just created under Demo. Now I can go back to Parameters and select the ellipsis there. Now I can choose Use Environment Variable and choose ENV Password. So we know we'll be getting the actual password from the environment variable because that's the only place where I typed in the password. All right, now we should be ready to execute the package from the catalog. So I right mouse click on the package and I select Execute. It needs me to select environment so that it gets the env password variable and maps it to the parm password. And I click OK. I would like to open the overview report, so I click on Yes. And there it shows that it succeeded. So now, as the final step, I'm going to delete this so I can show you how to set it up to run under the SQL Server agent. 
This is the final step so I could schedule the package to run. So I right mouse click on Jobs and select New Job. I'm going to call it Parms in Catalog. And for Owner, I'm going to use SA. And then I'll go to Steps. I need to add a new step, and I'm going to call it Step 1. And the type is SQL Server Integration Package. And I'll use the SQL Server Agent Service Account. The package source is in the catalog. It doesn't offer me my server name, so I'll have to type it in. I'll leave it set to Use Windows Authentication. I need to go find the package in the catalog. It's the only one in there, and I select it. Now I go to Configuration, and then I click on Environment down here, telling it to use the uh, Parameters and Catalog Environment under the Demo folder. And there it shows the mapping. And I click OK. And I exit out of there. And now I right mouse click on that job. And I say start job at step. It's got to start at step one. That's the only step in there. And it was successful. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to follow us on social media, here's how you can do that. 